My name is David Bauer. I was elected to the uh, Royal Canberra Academy in 2017. I'm a painter, a printmaker, um, sculpt, and I also write at times. Um, most of my inspiration is drawn, I think, from the landscape, which is particularly beautiful around here. I've been working here since about 1979, so rather a long time. Recently, I've had a new staircase installed, so let's go and have a look. My studio is actually in a loft space, so we have to access really by the staircase, the normal staircase, onto a landing, onto some rather attractive heads. Here we have the doors of the studio. Rather a bit of work to do yet, but let's carry on up. At the top of the staircase there's a, a print which I'm rather fond of really. It's done of Penmon, it's monotype on paper. We move into the studio and Move through. Printing press, which was kind of loaned to me recently. Round. And one of the nice points about the studio is we're actually overlooking the nice straits, so rather a wonderful view, which I've painted a few times, but on to more of what I'm doing at the moment. These are stencils which I've cut out and will ink up and run through the printing press. As you can see that is the correct way around and reads correctly but in order to make the print we have to reverse. So here's the reverse side which will be inked up and then put through the press to make an image. For the um, print design I rather like this kind of t-shirt logo. We can push it into colour as well with a little more thought about it. Here's one I rather like which might be a little controversial. We'll see when it's done. This image is slightly different as it's actually on a perspex plate and the perspex plate is cut to the shape of a t-shirt so that will leave a plate mark, the shape of a t-shirt, in the image, which hopefully will help. A lot of the incised work that's done on this uh, perspex plate is done with the ordinary lino cut tools, so you have to be rather careful that they don't slip there. Here's the plate I'm going to try now to ink this up. Um, it's an integral plate, it's on perspex. But I've actually cut the plate into the shape of a t-shirt. I'll go ahead now and ink up. They always use a flat um, piece of perspex or glass or whatever to put the ink on. Here the ink actually, the ink is quite thick because you hear a little hiss a little hiss there when the ink's the right consistency. What I do when I roll on this plate is just roll on the surface. Ready? There we go, on the surface. There are some little blank spots in there, so you get a bit more ink. And I think we're probably better to come from the top going the other way. There we are. It's a reasonable covering, but just to be on the safe side, I'll go across it as well. There we are. That's reasonably well inked. Apologies about the reflections, but it's getting dark and I've um, had to put the light on. 
now we need to go really and um, print this up. Here is a small um, printing press that someone kindly loaned to me and I've put a um, sheet on the bed. It has the blankets and I've already prepared um, a sheet to go on top. It's um, In this case it's only a small plate so it's, it's a piece of tissue. I've transferred the plate very carefully, not touching the surface at all, um, to the pressed bed using a pallet knife. Now we need some paper. I've prepared some paper earlier actually so I've got some paper here sweating in plastic. This is probably the best way for doing paper. Soak it first and then let it sweat. And there you go. I've already, I've already marked with a little tick there the um, the good print side. So when I get to the press, I know which side to use. I've placed the um, paper squarely now over the um, plate. And I'll cover with tissue. Smooth down nicely. Lower down the blankets. Smooth the blankets out. And now, all we really need to do is to turn the handle here to print. The press isn't actually fixed down, this is just a temporary table in the studio. Um, you should really fix it down, but we'll wind the press forward. There we go. And lift the blankets. One. And you can see there that the shape of the plate has actually left an, an indent mark, a plate mark, on the paper. And that plate mark will tell you that it's actually an original print and not a jiggly print. That's a, a print made by digital means. Um, plates made from a proper etching plate, or, or perspex plate in this case, will always have a plate mark because of the edge. You can see there. Yeah. It has an edge, an indent. And you can see actually a reverse of the um, of the writing that's actually on the on the plate. Well, let's lift the plate and see what we've got. We've got a a print there that's That's reasonably good. That's not too bad at all. One or two little things that need ironing out, but but on the whole, reasonably successful. And you can see the plate there actually now. You can see the um, see the imagery. The the actual B in itself is in size with um, lino tools, um, primarily because they make a they make a larger in size mark than than an etching needle would. There are some very very small marks down, and, uh, very difficult to see. Very small marks, but these these bigger marks really suit the um, suit the purpose in this case. A fairly successful print, really. Um, quite a good print day. Um, there are uh, print workshops in the Royal Cameron Academy, um, so perhaps you could have a look at the website and see if there's anything available, if you're interested in any way. Anyway, thanks for watching.